Okay, so here we are. The, the Mac Mini M2 is now connected to the network, to the power supply, and to my 22-inch monitor. And by the way, the display that you're seeing at the moment is coming from my other computer, a Lenovo Windows machine, of course, which is about 10 years old and time for retirement, which is why the Mac is here now. So um, it's a subtle change from Windows to Mac OS. Um, so now what I've got to do is to switch the display to HDMI 2 so that we capture the, the first moments coming from the Mac. Let's switch that to HDMI 2. Enter and now I'm going to power it on. Oh yes, so the LED has lit up. As you can see here, so that's the lit up LED and it should be booting up, but the display has come back to HDMI 1, which means I need to take it back to HDMI 2. Now, uh, there you go. And hopefully, I should be getting something right now. There you go. There you go. Hola. Bonjour. All right, it's going through the startup process. So this is exciting. All the languages in the world. I wonder how long it takes to finish the setup process. Or is it expecting me to do something? I'm just not sure. Does my mouse work? Yes, my mouse works. What is that? All right. It was just expecting me to set the language. Now, English is fine. Yes. Select your country or region. Now, I'm based in... Germany, so Geo Germany, continue. Preferred languages English, Germany, English, Germany. Yes, that, that's fine. Accessibility features adapt your Mac to your individual needs. Uh, not now. Continue. How do you want to transfer your information? From Mac Time Machine, the startup disk from a Windows PC. Well, I'm not sure if there was some pre work I should have done in terms of transfer of existing files. Looking for other sources, it says. Maybe I should have created a backup disk somewhere. Well, let's see what other option was there from a Mac time machine backup or startup disk. Well, I could skip this and say, not now. Maybe that's the best thing to do. Sign in with your Apple ID. I could set this up later. So I skip that. Are you sure you want to skip? Skip. Okay. All about the warranty. Agree. Create a computer account. So that's what I'm going to do next. But I hope this has given you an idea of the of the startup process on a brand new Mac Mini. 
Okay, so I've created a name and password for my Mac Mini M2. And just continuing with the, the setup. Enable location services on this Mac, yes. Share Mac analytics with Apple, okay. Screen time. It's fine. Or maybe I should read that in more detail. Get insights. Okay, that's that's all right. Choose your lock. Choose your look. Select an appearance. Light dark. Uh huh. Auto. I think I like the dark theme. Keyboard setup assistant. The telling device cannot be identified. I don't know what that means. If your keyboard is working properly, you may quit this application. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And that's it. It is a real beauty, I must say. I've never ever worked on Mac OS before. And it looks great. It does look great. So here are all my applications. I just try the Oh that that's it. Check out the date. December twenty third, my Christmas present for twenty twenty three. Let's try something like playing a video on YouTube. So that's the browser, Safari. And let's try YouTube. There you go. How do I maximize this? Okay, max. No, that wasn't maximize. What's this? As you can see, I'm I'm quite unfamiliar with Mac OS. Is it green? No, not sh double click maybe? I don't know, I'll keep it as it is. So, we use cookies, accept all. There you go. Um, what should I play now? Well, the first video that comes up, Disney, maybe not. Let me search for something. Uh, leave the world behind. Trailer. Well, that's something I. Oh, I like the, the Tesla scene. There you go. Accept all. Let's see how that plays. Be a bit more volume and actually I don't know how to increase volume yet I've got to yeah got to do that I've got to find it's out more about this everything. computer but yes that's the browser working properly and that's that's YouTube playing on the Mac mini m2 all right so that's that's checked out and um, let me I don't know, the red button must be to close it, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. And that's it, really. So, system settings over here. Okay. I think I have to spend some more time learning how to use the Mac OS, and then I'll be back. See you guys. Bye-bye.